What's going on, guys? It's your favorite mortgage lender, Abdel Kuatmi with Got Mortgages. I hope everybody is having a blessed new year. We're off to a great start. I want to kind of give us a really quick update just since the end of the year into now, where we're at. We just had the Fed minutes come out for the December meeting. Obviously, we all know that the Federal Reserve shifted their stance from 75 basis points to 50 basis points hike. There were slowly some indication within the minutes that they were going to just increase it actually to 25 basis points now into February. So like I mentioned, the minutes were released yesterday. A lot of the notes basically showed that a lot of the different Fed officials are kind of stuck between two things, right? One, the Fed doesn't know how long these rates they can keep them high. And then the second thing is whether inflation is going to shift similar to kind of what we saw in the 70s. So we're going to see the Fed either keeping restrictive policy, you know, which could slow down the economy, which is obviously a huge burden on so many people. So not just in terms of the hikes, we also saw in the minutes that the Fed had successfully reduced the size of their balance sheet. So they told us back in November of 2020, they were going to start tapering the balance sheet, reducing some buying off maturing securities and taking that and rather than reinvesting it. So in a program that they started again, the Fed started seeing their balance sheet drop so far by 365 billion to now being at 8.6 trillion. It's pretty crazy. Now, again, guys, there's a lot of different inflation metrics that we're seeing the labor market. Of course, aside from inflation, we have the labor market we have the critical rate of obviously rate increases. Those both have been really resilient. There's a lot of also payroll growth that we're seeing, you know, Yesterday, we got some data on Wednesday that showed that the number of job openings is still almost twice the pool of available workers. The job openings and labor turnover survey, which the jolts actually showed that there was 10.46 million jobs available, which is actually down a little bit from October. But again, it's still above 10 million forecast from FAXA. So these job openings, guys, are still at 6.4%, which still shows that workers are still in high demand, despite the Fed's efforts to bring down the economy and slow down inflation. So in terms of purchase application, purchase applications, as we kind of expect, we're down about 12%. And rates had slightly increased over the last couple of weeks from 6.34 to about 6.58 uh, as of right now. So then we have home price index core logic came out. It actually showed that home prices slightly declined by 0.2% in November, but they're still up 8.6% year over year. That's a lot of the stuff that we don't hear in the media. So core logic does not expect there to be slight negative readings, very small, but they still forecast appreciation into next year. And they're anticipating at least a 3% appreciation. Remember guys, 3% is still a big amount on top of, the growth that we saw in 2020 and 2021 during the pandemic. So although inflation has obviously been a little difficult to maintain and we're really fighting it, we've got some really friendly data in November and December that's kind of showing us that we're going on the right path. The Fed did indicate, though, that most likely we will not see rate, high, uh, rate cuts. So we'll kind of see how that impacts the market. Of course, that scary word with R's being thrown around. We'll kind of see exactly how everything transpires. Of course, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Any questions that you guys have, please feel free to reach out and visit my website, www.gotmortgages.com. Thanks, guys. and I'll catch you guys next time.